Number five, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a Bronsted-Lowry base. And then we have letter B. So in this case, we need to just show that OH- can act as a Bronsted-Lowry base via a net ionic equation. Now remember, Bronsted and Lowry were two scientists that came up with the idea of acid and bases independently. So they had no idea of one another. But roughly around the same time, they came up with the same idea. Pretty crazy, right? But what they found out was that bases accept hydronium ions, which is ACE+. Plus. Remember, acids, Bronsted-Lowry acids, will always donate the hydrogens the bases accept. So basically, what's going to happen is this OH- minus is going to accept a H+. Plus. And this is how we write it in terms of a balanced equation. The base plus the H+, plus. it's taking it in. They both have to be on the same side. So let's start with that. OH- minus plus H+. Plus. Now, since it's a net ionic equation, we have to include states. Anytime that you see a charge, it's going to be an aqueous solution. And since we're dealing with acids and bases, that's also in a water aqueous solution as well. So I could just say aqueous and aqueous. Now, since OH- minus is not one of our six strong bases, right? The components of OH- minus might be, but not the, the whole strong base as a whole. So since that's the case, I'm going to write my equilibrium uh, line here. And now we just have to write our conjugate acid. There's two things that you have to do to get a base into its acid. You got to gain one hydrogen, and then you just plus one to its overall charge. So basically, you're just going to combine all the elements here. I have one oxygen, and now I have two hydrogens. So we can write it technically as O, H, right? And instead of one hydrogen, you now have two. But if I just move this oxygen over here, ah, yeah, we know it as H2O. So that's what I'm going to write it as. And remember, with net ionic equations, H2O, that's a liquid. So I got to include the L there. And that's it. <laughs> that's all she wrote. This is the balanced net ionic equation to show that hydroxide, which is OH minus, you guys should know that polyatomic, hydroxide plus hydronium will always give us water. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all you guys. You guys have been such kind, you know, you guys have, you know, wrote such kind things in the comments. Thank you so much. This has been quite a journey and let's keep going. Thank you. Bye-bye.